what's going on? And we're playing some Danganronpa. Oh my god, the timing of these like that. But we're playing Danganronpa today. I watched the freaking animes. It's great. Oh my god. And shout out to Eris. They gifted me this game. Thank you so much, dude. This is awesome. And by the way, be warned, guys. This is a dark game with murder and stuff. If you don't like murder and you're sensitive, then um, I would recommend not watching. But if you want to, then yeah. This is a nice intro. Uh, hello. Oh god. Okay, so we're gonna be playing some Trigger Happy Hub. Thank you so much, Eris, for gifting me this. Like, I actually appreciate it. Like, this is gonna be a fun game because I watched the anime. I watched like the first anime um, and the third anime and I really liked it. So we're gonna be playing this game. Um, let's just freaking start. I've never played um, any Danganronpa games. So this is like a first experience from what you guys are saying. So let's do this. New game. In um, English. Logic difficulty, <laughs> gentle, kind, mean. Um, oh, logic. Maybe both, but I might frick up a lot, so that's gonna be great. Action difficulty. You know, I'm gonna keep it all at default. Mean does not look fun, so I'm just gonna keep it at kind. Oh, oh, I see the bear. Hey, what's going on? Oh, he's tied up. Um, he's dead. He's dead. If you see the bear and a guy, and no oh god. Oh dear lord. He's dead. He's dead. Goodbye. Blast off. Oh. Okay, I know this has nothing to really do, but this music is so good. It's freaking gold, guys. I love this music. Bye! I think he died. Is he die? Is Did he die? What happened? Oh! Shre Shrek! <laughs> what? Why did I? Oh, Frick! Why did I say Shrek? Oh, okay, that's a little unsettling, but all right. <laughs> See, guys, from what you saw, this is a dark game, so whatever. But it's still an awesome. It's awesome from what I've heard. From what I've heard. The massive high school towers over all the other buildings in this bustling urban area. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. Pope's Peak Academy. It brings in top students from every field imaginable. A government-funded school of privilege. Hundreds of years of tradition. It sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. There are two things you need to do. You have to do the very best at what you do. Well, yeah. No ordinary student can enroll here. The only way in is if you're scouted by the school itself. Yeah. You have to be like, you have to have like a special like thing you're good at. Like, you have to be like, you have to like have something, a special talent. Like, scening could be a way to get in. Um, gaming. Uh, Chaki or whatever. <laughs> she already has gaming. No, but if I did come here, I would probably have gaming too. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school fulfilled with the ultimate students. 
Oh, was me. Before we go any farther, I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Naegi. He's Makoto Naegi, guys. Oh, as you can see, wait, I'm gonna try and do this first. As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. Average on the outside, average on the inside. I really don't have much going for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff I, I like to do, but it's not like I'm a physic or a mutton or whatever. Like, if you asked me what my favorite song was or my favorite movie or TV show, they'd all just be whatever most popular at that particular moment. I honestly don't even have a favorite song, dude. Even among the average, I'm completely average, so I can't say I'm your I'm your av everyday hero type. That's great. That's just who I am. It's always good to induce yourself right off the bat. So he's kind of just breaking the fourth wall and he's talking to us. That's lit. But you know, if I have any kind of strong point, so to speak, I say I'm a little more gung to the I'm more to gung ho than other people. I don't know if I said that right. I mean, look at me. I'm completely ordinary, but still. Here I am, standing in front of anything but Ordinary's Hope's Peak Academy. Still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. It's got this overwhelming pressure, like it's trying to swallow me whole. But it's no wonder I would feel this way. What you would have to understand is... Well, let me just tell you about the preparation I did last night to get ready for today. Uh, all right, I'm interested. Tell me. Oh, who name a nominus? Come on, keep it coming. Apparently my friends kind of knows them. I guess everything's their state of the art. This year's ultimate pop sensation is going to be there. Yeah, the, the ultimate basketball pro is going to be there too. So jealous. It's only for winners and I can't see the rest. Anyone can't. Yeah, sir, I can't really see the other words, so I can only see the last, which is anyone can't. Hope's Peak only invites those students who are the truly elitist in their field. It's such a popular topic. There are threads online dedicated, dedicated to talking about the school attendance. So to prepare, I look up some of those threads. And all I saw was talk about ultimate students who were way beyond your average high schooler. Hi! Um... They are definitely K-pop stars. You always see them in anime. But whatever. For example, one of the incoming students is the ultimate pop sensation. I guess she's a high school who's also the lead singer for a pop group famous all over the country. Cool. There's also the ultimate baseball star. Okay, Ness. <laughs> okay, Ness. Uh, sorry, I had to just say that since I am doing Earthbound series right now. He was the cleanup hit hitter for the national high school champs. Pro teams already have their eyes on him. Oh. Alright then, buddy. Oh no, Chichinko and Shima. I don't want to spoil the series, but she is not a good character. Like, I mean, she's a cool character, but... She's honestly an antagonist. Just be war. Ultimate fashionist. Hi. All right, that's Shinka and Shinma's um, twin sister. She's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She's what every one high school girl wants to be. Sh yeah. Oh. Oh, and I mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader too. Scary thing is, he's the de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Things everywhere love the guy. Oh, here's the message thing. Hey, there's a message we couldn't see. Um, so jealous. It's only for winners. How can anyone even get in? Ah, all right. On top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator, the ultimate gambler. Honestly, lit. Honestly, if I would gotten in here, but honestly. I'd be an ultimate gamer. I know there's a character that already is one, but I'm just saying, that's what I would do. The ultimate swimming pro, the ultimate pro programmer, the ultimate clair clairvent, and then some. 
Reading that made me realize how totally powerless I was. It was a country finest top to bottom. I felt like a little Tim House cat who'd wandered into a pride of lions. So, Ma Niagi, are you? What, what's your talent? I want to know. But still, there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there was a few students who I couldn't find any info on, no matter how much I looked. Oh, okay. With all those ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. But then, what about those other new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could they just be average students like me without any talent or anything? Possibly. But you did say that people need to have talent. Whatever. I mean, he could be the ultimate texter? <laughs> I don't freaking know. I mean, this is the only thing I know he's good at so far. Wait, 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 no, 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 the ultimate, um... He's logical a lot, like he really knows how to figure stuff out in the anime. That thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, I know I don't have much in way of the personality. Beyond that, there's even a bigger issue. How did a such an unbelievably average student like me get picked to come to this ultimate high school? Because we're the main character, I guess? I don't, I don't know. But why did you? I guess there is a reason. You just have to take one glance at the accepts, acceptance of the letter they sent me to see why. Yeah, let's go look, dude. Uh, Makoto Naegi. I'm sorry if I say the name is wrong, it's Japanese, so I'm sorry. The letter says, We recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our school. Oh, so that's weird. As a result, you have been selected and we invite you to join us as the ultimate lucky student. Alright. They spelled it out as a... Plain as day, I got invited by pure luck. Honestly, I probably would have been better off just declining their offer. But after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later in life, I just couldn't say no. Yeah, we can't say no to that, dude. But then actually standing there in front of the school, I started to feel lost, like I didn't belong there. I couldn't feel myself losing any my nerve. But still, I can't just stand here in front of the gate forever. <laughs> Frozen in place, murmuring to myself, I looked down at the acceptance letter clutched in my hand. It said there'd be a meeting for all incoming students in the main hall at 8 a.m. The meeting still isn't for a little while, but I should probably just head in. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. I gather up all my determination and try to act like I've done this a million times before. And I took my first step towards the main hall. Yes. Okay, that was the longest intro of a game I've ever seen. Well, it's actually not really an intro, but at the same time it is. Like, the, it's trying to get us to know the character. This is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. There's a really elegant clock over there in the corner. It says it's 7 a.m. All right, we're early then, I think. The meeting doesn't start until 8 o'clock, so there's still a full... 50 minutes left. Yeah, we can just chill, wait for people to get here. I mean, this is honestly me. I would get here pretty dang early. Probably like 20 minutes before, actually. Not 50, but uh, it makes sense nobody else will be here yet. I was so wound up. I got here way too early. Plenty of time before the meeting. Just standing around waiting isn't exactly. Should take a look around the school. Maybe that'll help me calm down a little. Yeah, let's look around. I am a student here now, so there shouldn't be any problem with me having to look around, right? Right, let's go look. It'll help me to kill some time, if nothing else. True, true. Trying to play it cool, I took my first step into the Hope Speak Academy. It's also the first step towards starting a new life at a new school. At least, that's what I was hoping for. Yeah. Oh, um, our, why, what, what's going on with our vision? What the? Yeah, what the heck? But then suddenly I took that step forward. My view became warped, twisted. It was like some kind of delusion melting away and mixing together into something else. Spinning and mixing, melting away, then spinning again. The next moment, everything went black. And that's how it all began. And that's how it, life as I knew, it came to an end. At that point I should have realized. The reason I was brought to the Hope Speak Academy wasn't because I had ultimate good luck. It was so I could experience ultimate despair. Like, welcome to despair. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Pro prologue. All right. Refinally starting. You want to save the data? Heck yeah. 
All right, save here. Yes, please. All right, guys, we're actually starting. We're starting because this is the beginning of a game. Dot 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 dot. Mm. <clears throat> we're alone in the classroom, so or less there's might be people here, but what the? Where am I? Woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. Did we get kidnapped? My body feels heavy. It's pretty normal for me to zonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but... What was I doing asleep here just now? This isn't a classroom I've ever seen before. Been in before. The heck is going on? Well, it's the start of the new game. Oh, stuff is happening. Oh. Welcome to Hope Speak Academy. Firstly, we'd like to explain the basic controls. You can move your mouse to adjust your aim. Oh, all right. If you aim at an object, you can just interact with it by pressing the left mouse button. All right. And presto, you'll investigate that object. View ASD option to adjust your viewpoint. All right. Or you can press and hold the right mouse button and move the mouse around. Why don't you try looking around the classroom? Uh, all right. Oh, uh, that's how I look? There's a TV. The school is funded by the national government, so I guess it's not weird to have TVs in here. I mean, something feels off. I wonder what it is. Okay, WASD to, oh, that's nice. What's that? That's the desk I fell asleep on. I guess I can still see a line of drool I must have left there. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I have to clean that up later. Hey, what's that on the desk? Hey, there's a new kid. The next semester is about to start, starting to this day. School will be your entire world. Who wrote that? Was it like him or somebody else? An orientation guide? And a cheap looking pamulet, and there is something handwritten on it. Yeah, we already read that. What the hell? Is this someone's idea of a joke? I don't know. I think maybe it was their desk and they forgot to get it. Maybe? Or maybe they were mocking you. I have no clue, dude. What's that? Camera? Is that a camera? Hello? What? Is that a surveillance camera? I think it is. And we're being watched. That's great. We're being watched. <laughs> It's a dangerous world we live in. I guess they have these these to keep weirdos from wandering in. Yeah, but we're probably being watched right now. I wouldn't be surprised if we are being watched. Um, is there more in here? There's a door. Wait, is there anything else I missed? Clock. What time is it? He's like, can't believe it's already eight o'clock and we're dead. It was just seven when I first got here. I mean, we did fall asleep. It's already been almost an hour since. Just checking if I missed any more. Yeah, I think we should head out. Let's let's go to the door. I better look around the classroom a little more before I head out. I I I did. Do I need to look down? Oh, over here. What the heck? In any normal classroom, that's where a window should be. But it looks some kind of metal plate has been bolted over it. And if I were to knock on it, conk conk. Yep, definitely metal, thick too, very solid. Are we in like a basement? Where are we? Are we like in a, chilling in a classroom basement? Cause it feels like we are for some reason. Wait, that's not what matters here. Most importantly, why are there metal plates over the windows? Um, we probably got kidnapped. Okay, let's see. So what might have happened is I got myself found up. I passed out in the main hall and then someone carried me here. That's true. It must mean you got kidnapped. <laughs> Just kidding. This is a classroom inside Hope's Peak. But then if that's true, it just raises more questions. This is really strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows, it's like it's a prison or something. None of this makes any sense. Should probably head back into the main hall. If it's already past the meeting time, there might have be other students there now. You leave the classroom by pressing the R key. Oh, okay, thanks. Um, I would like to leave, thank you. Leave the area? Um, um, yes please. Alright. Jeez, this hallway is kind of weird too. 
No, nah, it looks neat, but yeah, it is weird. It looks neat, but still weird. This is getting stranger by the second. I honestly have no idea what's going on. I think we're underground. It's, I don't know why. I don't know why. We like, I don't know why I feel like they're underground. No, well, now let's just head to the main hall. You said WASD is to move through the hallway. All right, thanks, Kim. Use the shift key while moving to run. So you can press the tab key. All right, the tab key again to close the map. All right, cool. And this is how I- oops. All right. All right, where's the hex the main hall? Wait, map. Uh, that looks like a main hall. Hold on. So basically we, um, woke up in a classroom and we probably are dead now because it's staying on a rope. What the heck do we expect? Something nice to happen? Yeah, probably not. Oh, let's go in there. The gym. Oh, that's the gym. All right. Um, what's in here? Wonder why there's a gate here. Um, because reasons and it's a school and I don't think they want students getting in in a private place, but whatever. Ah, uh, keep out. The nurse's office off. The nurse's office off limits, it looks like. All right, that's off limits and that's not where sp Nah, I think that might be something else. Oh, we went in. Everyone, oh, everyone's here. Hey guys. Whoa, hey. Are Yo. New kid? Yo, oh my God, we're so late. Like everybody is just staring at us just like, you're late. <laughs> Honestly, every that moment when you get to class really late and everybody just stares at you just like, we've been waiting for a whole hour. Well, hey, another new kid. Huh? Then you guys are all... Yeah, we're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. <clears throat> so, counting him, that makes 15. Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. I think that's everyone. This looks more than 15, actually. Actually, no, nah, I think this is 15. Standing before me were the ultimate students that have been picked by the school. I looked around at everyone who'd gathered there, taking in their faces one at a time. Maybe I was just imagining it, but I swear I could feel a kind of aura coming from each of them. Oh? Oh? Hi. Uh, how's it going? My name's Makoto Nayagi. Sorry if I'm late. A bunch of stuff happened and then all of a sudden I was just asleep? Huh? Whoa, you too? Hmm. Things just keep getting curiouser and curiouser. Mm -hmm. So strange, I declare beyond a shadow of a doubt that is strange sh situation indeed. Um, what are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. Got it! I'm sorry about weird voice. I'm just trying to do voice impressions. Just a moment. There's something else we need to address. Listen to me! Maka Mokoto. Makoto, sorry. I don't know how to say names. Tardiness is acceptable. Surely you were aware t the meeting was about to start at 8 a.m. sharp. Yeah, well, we, c we kind of fell asleep, dude, and we were, like, taken to be late on your first day is unacceptable. I must report you and, and you must accept your due punishment. Dude, I'm like five minutes late, calm what? down. What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it, exactly. Right. Everyone calm down, listen. Why don't we all go to, go around and introduce ourselves? Yeah, what she said. Huh? The hell? Now no time for freaking instructions. <laughs> introductions, I meant, sorry. Maybe, but it may be good to at least find out who we all are before digging into the bigger problems here. Should I do voice impressions, guys? Yeah, why not? I'm I mean, how are we all even supposed to talk to each other if we do not know each other's names? I mean, we can yeah. introduce ourselves. That's a good point. Um... Okay, so let's get introductions out of the way. Then we can move on to whatever else sounds good. Okay, I probably sound like an idiot. Like, I don't know how to do voice impressions. I've never done it on the channel, but whatever. 
I'm still totally lost. Or do you think it's best to just focus on getting to know each other for now? So I guess this is a good chance as I'm going to get... I already looked up everyone on Hope's Peak Academy thread online, but... Still don't really know what kind of people they actually are. Time to find out. Alright. I'll start by talking to those five people over there. Aim at that student and left close to my mouth butts and talk to them. Alright, cool. Um, Hi. Oh yeah, Isaac's here since I've been editing and we've just been chilling in a call, but... Um, apparently I decided not to do an outro, so, um, here's an outro I'm making right now while editing. Well, thanks guys for watching, um, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Danganropia, and I'll see you guys next yes. time. Subscribe, like, and comment. Thanks, bye. <laughs>